and we are back. This is Doc Phoenix with all the Marios back with the Lost Levels. We left off on 8-4. I am going alone today again because my that's the left. My co-commentator Compunic is out of state on vacation, so it's just gonna be me. Hopefully I will keep it entertaining enough. Hopefully I will not die repeatedly on 8-4 here. But uh, let's let's see how this goes. Getting a bit more stutter than I'd like, but that's fine. I've still got this weird hook staircase bit to get across the gap. Pause a moment so I don't jump directly into that potabo. And wait for the fire bar to cycle around. And I need to have some amount of running speed to get over this jump. I don't think you need full run. Yeah, you just need to be moving a little bit before you jump. And here, I want to get to the edge of the platform until the plant comes up and then slip under. And this is just a basic underwater section. Pretty simple. Wait for that fire bar. That's really the only deal. The bloopers just leave you alone if you don't blow, go up. Here, kind of do the same thing as before when hooking around. Wait for the plant to come up. Then you know you're near the edge. Jump and... Okay. Didn't quite get it then. Wait a moment. Jump and hooked in. Alright. This screen was where I repeatedly died last time. I don't think I got past this area. So there's poison up there in a hidden block. It's blooper, Koopas all over. Really hoping this does not take too long. So, gotta get into original content. New World 9. World 9, the world you only get to by clearing the game without using any warp zones. Ah. This castle. Back here. All right. These are all pointless. One of them has poison. And, okay, okay, that was dangerous, but I've made it, and now I have this blooper hovering over me, and this Koopa, and I need to get down onto that platform. Oh, and there's there's a plant under here, too, if I go too far off of it. Look at that. Alright. Now, I need to run across once it's closest to the edge, so that it's a one-tile gap, because if you go over, then you get a loop. And I don't think I got over here before I think yeah this this is new stuff to me so okay whoop I ah okay the stuttering is throwing me off might need to poke some things I did actually order a the parts to build a proper streaming PC. So once that comes in, I'll be able to use that and not this tablet that I'm currently streaming off of. So that should give us a much smoother experience. I... Let's just see if I can... Nope, nope. If I just jump straight, then I ran directly into that Koopa. Ah, I was just wrong all over. And this looks good. Damn it! Ah, I'm jumping too early. I know I can do very edge of the platform jumps. I've had to do that repeatedly throughout this this game. I was about to call it ROM hack. <laughs> it basically is. All the castles take me a lot of tries to get through the end areas of this game 
seven four took me a lot of tries to get down and I've already done this not too many times so we were like near the end of the stream when I got here the last time can't remember how many times I've attempted this in the last thing but uh Pretty sure I have not died as much here as in 7-4 yet. Okay. I don't think I need to jump at the very edge, but I need to get close. Alright, okay, cool. Pipe. That... Okay, Bowser just standing on the ground. And, uh, we're getting sprite draw limits. Okay. Okay, and it's not over after Bowser. Okay. This is, this is something, certainly. I am doing this. Okay, there's another, another Bowser. Okay. I guess that was the, another fake Bowser? I, okay, I'm pretty sure I finished the level. I'm pretty sure. It looks like I finished the level, but I... Okay. Black screen loading. Okay. Peace is paved with kingdom saved. Hurrah to Mario, our only hero. Thus ends your trip of a long friendship. <sighs> that was 8-4. And I might, yeah, I'm, I'm going to need to stop this for a moment. I need to turn off infinite lives or else I'm going to get infinite points. <laughs> okay. And all right. I've gotten all the things for my lives. Thank you, Mario. And all the toad retainers. And that was the same ending screen that they had in versus Super Mario Brothers. And if all goes well. Once the finish is loading. Alright, World 9. Fantasy World. Let's try World 9 World with one game. I'm going to make another save state here. Because in World 9, you get one life. Period. Doesn't matter what you came in with, you get one life. Uh, I am going to turn Infinite Lives back on, but I don't know if it's going to actually work with World 9. I don't know how they programmed it, if that's going to work. So it's going to briefly mess everything up to turn the code back on. Infinite Lives is back on. And if Infinite Lives doesn't work, then I'm just going to be loading this save state to get through. So what do we start with? Uh, we've got an area that's designed to look like a warp zone, but isn't. Yes, that's just the entrance to World 9. Okay, we're swimming in the sky. Fantasy world, sure. There's bullets and elevators underwater. All right, okay. They weren't kidding when they said fantasy world. And just these, these colors. It almost looks like they're going for... Like, the, the red and blue makes me think of old 3D effects. Yeah, everything... But, like, it, it's only the certain specific points. So that's just weird. Well, that's that's World 9-1. <coughs> yeah, this is like an acid trip. <laughs> God. All right. New save state. I'm going to make a new save state at the start of each world until I find out whether or not Infinite Lives works. Which will be right now. Let's find out. Does Infinite Lives work? Yes. Cool. Okay. Don't need to mess around with save states. So, underwater with Lakitu. And of course, when you're underwater, you can't hop on things. I would actually be a little bit surprised if there were any power-ups in this. Are these blocks? No, that's coral. Ah. Whew. Okay. Uh, 
just more weird. Okay, weird holes in the water sky where there's coins. I'm wondering if they even put, like, was, was that just something that they intended or something that they had to do because of weird palette limits? I'm not sure. Ah, world nine, fantasy world. Okay, I'm not underwater this time. Castle music. This is reminiscent of Zelda 2, but I don't think that game had come out by this point. A springboard in the middle of nowhere. Not going anywhere. Uh, a beanstalk. This feels like it might be a trap, but it could also be the necessary way to go. Then again, it was too easy to find, so... Alright, clouds, coins... Just a standard coin heaven, I guess. Is this... Okay, is that just gonna launch me into the lava? <laughs> just emerge from the ground? Okay. Same... Same st bonus area. Okay, no, it just, it just sends me back. So I could just sit here and farm coins forever if I really wanted to. Or at least until time runs out. I wonder if you could just actually make a profit of lives that way. What the hell am I looking at? Oh, God. Fortunately, Bowser's moving forward. I think if I... Wait for him to come forward again. I'll be able to run under his jump and get up those stairs. But wow! This is just something else. Ah, that hitbox. <sighs> Alright. Ignore. Special state. That springboard is actually probably there for a hidden power-up, now that I think about it. I'll have to check if I die again. Use that springboard and look for hidden blocks. Also, I should see if going above the world works. Because this isn't a bridge to break, so it, it's not this, it might not be like end world thing. Alright, let's see. Springboard. No, not seeing anything. No, no, just not seeing anything. I have no idea why that springboard is there. Unless there's a maze as part of this zone that I haven't quite hit yet, but... Okay, you can, you can just avoid Bowser entirely by going over the world and that... I was expecting it to not let me do that, but I guess it lets me do that. Okay, another underwater stage, 9-4, not a castle? Underwater Hammer Bros. This is Kana. I'm not sure exactly what this says. Oh, it has been too long since I learned Kana. I may or may not be able <laughs> I may or may not be able to figure out what that says. Uh, okay, I think that's it. <sighs> Blooper not going fully above me. Okay. <laughs> This blooper. Okay. So yeah, that just says thank you. Arigato. 
Okay, that was World 9. I was expecting worse, but I guess the whole single life idea was the worst that they wanted to throw at you. Oh, and then it loops back to World 9 1. Well, that's that was World 9. Um, in order to get to World A through D, I am going to need to reset the game. So, I am going to do some things. I'm also going to need to switch out my save game to get there. I'll explain once I've got that back, but uh, pausing the stream now to do that. Okay, there we go. So, when you beat Super Mario Brothers 2, because this is a Famicom game, it came on a disc, and it actually saves how many times you've beaten a game. You'll notice all these stars on the title screen now. That is the number of... That indicates how many times the game's been beaten. I did not actually beat the game 20 times. I, I modified the save game to have that because I'm not going to sit here and beat the game eight times because you need to beat the game eight times in order to unlock worlds A through D. So... On the, the stage game start screen, the title screen, if you hold down A and press start to start a new game while you've beaten the game eight times, it will load up World A. Once it... Hopefully. Yes, here we go. World A. So, this is, once again, blind. I have no idea what I'm going into here. I am terrified. Okay, I thought I was close enough to the wall to avoid that, but... Oh well. There is a mushroom up there, at least. There is, in fact, a reason to go into there. And I don't even need to go that far in. And I've already ruined it. I gotta check everything up here. I... Now, this is going great. <laughs> okay. Well, let's... Up here. Probably nothing up here, but... Oh, Beanstalk. Let's check this out. See if it's legitimate bonus, or if this is even more hateful world. I don't know what level of difficulty these worlds are going to have. I assume that because you have to have beaten the game eight times to get here, that it's going to be, like, post-game difficulty harder than everything else. But, uh, let's, we'll, we'll see here. That's, that's an actual extra life. Wow. I don't think I've seen that an extra life anywhere else in this game so far. I mean, I haven't been searching everywhere, but still. It feels a little too easy. And there are almost definitely power-ups under there if I can manage to slide under there or if I was small. Uh, it's not really worth it right now. Right. More poison. Okay. At least the amount of poison I've seen so far is at least what I would expect. Oh, boy. That was risky. God, I hate Hammer Brothers. Ah, uh, just ignore him. Yeah, I'm doing too much exploring. I need to just move. Right, 
there's no power-ups in there. There might be a power-up in here. I will at least take a moment to try and search these now. See if there's a mushroom in one of these bricks. It's looking like no. And can't go down that pipe. Also, checkpoints. That's there there is in fact checkpoints. And just ignore that whole section. Huh. That looks like it's probably the exit of a bonus area under there, because otherwise you can't really get down there. Huh. There has got to be bonuses in those. Uh, can I actually get them without dying, though? Okay, that's just coins. And that's a horrible sound. Come on. Get me in there. Uh, damn it. Ah, uh, forget it. And this is the stairway. Single blocks and... Ah. Uh. Yeah, they, they have an interesting construction uh, at the end of the stage past the flagpole that there's a little brick just past the um, the door leading into that little fort. And that's part of uh, what they did to remove the bug from the first game where uh, if you jump over the flagpole, which is difficult but possible... You can uh, just wind up in this infinite zone of running forever with no end, and then you just have to run out of time. So they removed that in this game, and there was there was even the the one um, troll backwards warp zone in World Three that involved jumping over the flagpole. And I am just paying too much attention to that extra life. Why am I doing this? I have infinite lives. <laughs> I'm, I'm just fascinated by the concept that there are lives. There are extra lives in this world, which I'm not ex I kept not expecting there to be. But I, I guess they don't want it to be that difficult? I don't know. Like, there's there's been interesting structures so far, but I don't think there's been anything too ridiculous. Right. Upside down plants absolutely do not care about your position. They will come down regardless. Okay. Um, I might be able to get on top of the stage there, but it, I think that would be difficult. Given the, the tight spacing around the elevator there. If I had a power-up, I could easily break through the bricks and get up there, but... Yeah, I guess that is a thing. I'm seeing lives, but I'm not seeing power-ups. So that kind of balances things a little bit. Let's just go... Nope. <laughs> uh... I'm probably not going to clear all four of these bonus worlds this session. Especially with uh, how things are going right here. So, might have another half session-ish of this before moving on. Oh, God, Hammer Brother. Hammer Brother and Bullets. And of course the bullets bounce you high enough to knock you into the hammers. Uh, I'm just going to have to rush through there. Uh, ah! Second cannon. I think that is viable. I just need to not get shot by that second cannon and cannon timings are not 
as set as some other things. They are a little bit random as well as, like, like how the Potabos are. They're not quite as random as the Potabos, but there is a significant variance in uh, how often they will shoot. Okay. Okay. A2, finished. And I got fireworks. Yay. Another cloud world. Clouds and wind. And fish. And then the flying blooper. That was extremely short. Okay. Oh. Castle A. I'm going to attempt to get that power up a few times, but I'm probably going to give up eventually. Let's see how many to Oh god. Oh god, all these fire bars and the speeds and oh god. Yeah, that power up is not happening. And uh Yeah, I'm probably going to need a little bit of run speed to get that jump. Timing a fast fire bar and a potabo. Okay. 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 This is a staircase structure with potabos. Kind of. Single tile platforms. Just run across here. Guns. Okay. 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 Everything's fine. I'm going to need run speed to get across here. So I'm going to need to deal with the gun and fire and the, the Koopa fire, Bowser. Ah! Ah. Ah. Well, thank you for believing in me. I believe in me too. Cleared eight four. A four shouldn't be that bad. It's shorter. Potabo. More potabo. Run across here. Bullets. Just go. All right. This Bowser is not throwing hammers. That's good. Oh, that's he's throwing fire frequently though. Okay. World A cleared. <sighs> Three more worlds. And then I will be done with the lost levels. This looks far too happy. Okay, going under here is just a trap, because now you need to do a weird jump to get out of there. It's not that much of a trap, though. Under there, that looks like power-ups, though. Let's try not to scroll it too far off. Uh, nope. Guess not. Here? Coins. An actual mushroom in a place that's not that difficult to, to hit. Yeah, I... I'm not really... I'm, I'm still not really... Okay. Okay, Kaizo Blocks. Sort of. 
I'm really not getting a vibe for the difficulty of this yet. Parts of it feel easy, but parts of it feel the difficulty that I expect for post-game levels. So I'm really not sure what's going on with this. Star man. And I missed it entirely. And let's just skip over some of the level. That was dangerous. But hey, B1 finished. Underwater or underground? Underwater! What? Okay. Got paratroopers. Right. Can't bounce on things underwater. <sighs> yep. Okay, wait for... Oh, oh god, that coop is coming back. <laughs> oh god. Okay, I will need to dash through there and just flee through the bloopers, otherwise the Koopa will come back and kill me. Alright. Okay. Yep, gonna have some vortexes under here. All right, more paracoopas. A little box of just coins in there. Kind of weird. Giant fire bar underwater, okay. Let's see if I can go under this fish. And then, okay, okay. Not bad. Assuming this is the end of the level. Okay, it is in fact the end of the level. I feel like they've got to have a trick there at some point where you come out of an underwater or underground stage and you're at the stairs, but then it's not actually the end of the level. I feel like that's got to happen eventually. Whoa. Is this entire stage going to just be these floating platforms? So that's what it's looking like. Yeah, this... Okay, no, there's, there's actual platforms. And let's not launch into the sky this time. Because that's absolutely what I intended, was not launching into the sky there. Guaranteed 100%. I am actually being careful, totally. I say, as I launch into the sky. Alright, I have no idea where... Okay, okay, that wasn't that bad. It probably would have been bad if I hadn't accidentally correctly timed that Koopa Hop. Alright, first try. World B is going a lot smoother than World A. I say, tempting fate with this castle. So here I can just kind of walk down, but I'm going to jump because that feels better. I wonder if I have to go in pipes. That's a power-up location. Can I... Yes! Ha! All right. And that fire bar should not have hit me. What the hell? I guess its hitbox extends below the block that it's on even when the fire bar is pointing up. That's just great. Well, it's still possible to get that power up if you just don't jump. Oh, hey, a pipe. Oh, hey, backwards. Well... I can get another shot at this power-up, sure. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. But now I need to duck under here, which might be a bit of a problem. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't... This looks like it's going to be a maze. This distinctly looks like a maze. Yeah, this is a maze. It's a short one, though. Unless this is just a section with this pattern repeating multiple times, which would be cruel, but I would believe it. Well, I figured... I got through somehow. So, uh, let's just tank my way through. Forward. I do not have time to tank through. Jump, jump, and... All right, just made it. Just made it. Nearly first try. <sighs> World C. I might actually finish it this time. I'm genuinely shocked. I'm... I'm... Uh, okay, let's not jinx it. World D is going to kill me. World D is going to wreck me hardcore. I am stating this right now. I believe it fully and completely that World D will obliterate me. There. World C will obliterate me. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh, upside down plants. How you hate me, and I hate you. Okay, lots of hopping Koopas. That's, I guess, the name of the stage is Hopping Koopa Town. I find it interesting that... Ah, stupid. I find it interesting that they have question mark blocks uh, in a place where it's physically impossible to hit them. Behind the pipe. Oh, boy. What's down here? Coins. Probably went backwards. No? No, this is new. That's a giant gap. That'd probably have to Koopa bounce. Can I? Nope. Did I hit a checkpoint? I hit a checkpoint somewhere. That pipe gave me a checkpoint. Hooray! Oh god! Go away! And... Yeah. I'm pretty sure you need to Koopa bounce to get across that gap, so... It's more focused on aiming than on speed. Alright. It's not so bad. Ignore the hammer, and... Oh! I actually might have made that if I had kept going forward. Yeah, you... You hit these turtles a lot easier than I keep expecting. I keep expecting it to be less lenient with, uh the difference between the top and side of a turtle. Bah. Now this. Uh, yep. That, that could also happen. But it's distinctly... <laughs> it's distinctly looking like I'm going to have to get that jump down to a science. Okay. This, is this the stairway? This looks like it might be the stairway. Yeah, that's the end of the world. Okay, C1 done. Okay, what does C2 have? All right, it's a bridge level. Yep, yep. Okay. Fish and squids and gaps. Standard bridge level. <sighs> the 
giant squid there is positioned exactly, yeah, to prevent you from just running through that second jump there. Alright. Oh god, lots of stuff happening. Fish. Too many fish. Okay. Single tile. Okay. Single tile where you need to maintain run. Okay. <laughs> I had to do that in the... Oh, checkpoint. Awesome. Checkpoint right at this uh, single tiles where you need to keep running. So I'll have plenty of opportunity to get this down. Like that. Alright, that jump is just normal. This... Okay, they're just turning this into that level again. With some minor differences, like this thing to launch. If I manage to keep up a, a fast running speed at that, uh, that springboard, I might be able to skip most of the, the difficult parts of the... Assuming this is going to continue mirroring that stage. That, uh... Ah! Ah! You can't really run on that springboard, can you? Taunt you with it. Ah! Yeah, this is going to be the entire rest of this session. Nine minutes left of just this. Dying here. Repeatedly. <laughs> alright, alright. Back here. And it's not worth the effort. This is worth at least a shot up, but I'll, I should just land here, yeah. Alright, okay. Assume I will need this up. Didn't really... Oh, hey, there's the flag. So I guess this wasn't the remaining entirety of the session. Getting to C3. And this is just going to be wind and springboards, isn't it? This is going to be the entire stage, is precision landing on platforms with springboards and wind. Yeah. Also, Lakitu is there just to complicate things. Okay. Going pretty good so far. It's because I lost my... Ah! 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 Can I skip that one as well? No. No, I cannot. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I'm really can't feel for how what direction I'm trending with this wind oh, whoops I slowed down I shouldn't have slowed down I killed Lakitu I should have slowed down hooray and Lakitu's back instantly of course oh god that did not feel good yeah, ignore some of this and just go and... Alright, this is new. Ah! <laughs> uh, oh, but a checkpoint right there! That's... That is ridiculously generous. Okay. Okay, I actually might clear this. Yeah, this is starting to... 
Uh, yeah, this is pretty much identical to the... There was the one world that we had earlier in the game that was springboards everywhere. Except this has wind and Lakitu. Although it stops having Lakitu about halfway through. It, 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 the wind is still going to be, uh... Still enough. All right. Skip along. Skip along. Can I just clear that? Okay, with the wind, I can just clear that entire gap. And all right. That I'm going to call the night. Uh, I'll take a peek into C4, but I'm not going to clear it. This looks a little familiar. Yeah, this is the the world. This is the world seven castle, but with more fire bars. Yeah, I'm definitely not clearing this in one uh, in one minute. <laughs> that's that's enough of that for tonight. Uh, so, uh, this has been more all the Mario's the lost levels. Next time, Tuesday, I will probably be finishing this. And then we'll be moving on to uh, some more interesting things. I mean, this has been plenty interesting, but we're going to be moving on to things that are interesting in the sense that they are weird rather than just hard. So, uh, thanks for joining. I'll see you again on Tuesday, same time. And uh, good night.